good morning children today's lesson is for 10th class a poem named or will the dreamer wake this poem is written by uh, poet is medora chevalier medora chevalier she is a well known 21st century poet is she focuses on contemporary themes here in this poem or will the dreamer wake she writes about how the animals would become extinct if they are not protected here in this image you can see uh, some animals like a tiger bear these are in as a, these are in the endangered species endangered species means they are at the edge of the extinction let us move to the poem or will the dreamer wake in the first stanza out in the east the jungle listens the tigress plaintive growls in pain the great trees hear her breathing shaking inside her still the new lives wait these cubs could be the last ones ever to freely live and roam and mate our grandchild knows the tiger never or will the dreamer wake he explains uh, in a symmetric way in the first stanza she has taken the east direction out in the east the jungle listens the tigress what is the meaning of tigress tigress is lady tiger playing to growls in pain the great trees hear her breathing shaking that is the tigress is taking delivery pains and those are playing to playing to means sounding sad and and she growls in pain growls means make a low low sound as in anger and it is giving a uh, birth it is giving birth to new cubs what does uh, the word cub means the young ones of tiger lion bear fox etc that is the young ones of uh, these animals are called cubs meaning of uh, roam is uh, walk around out in the east the jungle listens the tigress plaintive growls in pain the great trees hear her breathing shaking inside her still the new lives wait these cubs could be the last ones ever to freely live and roam and mate our grandchild knows the tiger never or will the dreamer wake here the poetess is saying that they these tiger tigress may be the last one and this la, this cub may be the last one because they are at the edge of the endangered species edge of extinction avi nasinchi potayemo mundu mundu tiger anna tiger pillalanna manam chupinchali ante oka bommallono photos lono chupinchagalam kaani we can't see a, a live tiger why why because the forests are um, getting deforested chetlanni kotteyadam moolanga there is no place for endangered uh, wild animals okay you here you can see a tigress with the cubs yes these are the cubs and this is the tigress coming to the next stanza far in the north the white bear snuffles down in her lair the gleaming snow she waits for all the life she has making outside the crashing glaciers grow these cubs could be the last cubs ever to freely live and roam and mate our grandchild knows the white bear never or will the dreamer wake up now the uh, poet is is uh, focusing on the north direction far in the north the white bear snuffles in the north pole the white bear is uh, in misery down in her lair the gleaming snow she waits for all the life she has making outside the 
crashing glaciers grow, these cups could be the last cups. What are the, what is meant by bear? Bear is a heavy wild animal with thick fur, with thick fur and sharp claw. And snuffles means breathe noisily. Breathe noisily. And it's all custom. Alaga breathe chest. Gleaming means shining brightly. The, the, the ice is shining very brightly. And what, what is the meaning of glacier? Glacier means large masses of moving ice. That is, the in the North Pole, the white bear is in misery. It is going to extend because of uh, glaciers. Glaciers move, moving ice. Because of uh, global warming, what is the environmental problem in the North area? Global warming, the temperature, the, is increasing because of the increased temperature the glaciers are moving very fastly they are getting melted so the wild animal white bear is not able to lead they lead its life there that is another problem environmental problem here you can see white bear yes this is the white bear image coming to the next stanza there in the west the song thrush Bubbles. She weaves her nest to hold her clutch. A long wait now to find a partner. The eggs are laid. They are not much. These chicks could be the last ones ever. The last to fly and sing and mate. Our grandchild knows the song thrush never. Or will them dream a wake? That is here the poetess is focusing on the west of the globe. Here, which animal, which wild animal is uh, in misery? Here, a bird named thrush, a small bird, thrush. Warbles means sings in a high voice that is not steady. What is the meaning of clutch? A group of young birds. Here, in the west side, the thrush is taking misery to hold its clutch. That means it's egg birds. Of course, it laid eggs, but the eggs are very less in number. Maybe in some years, this bird may extinct. Here you can see the image of a thrush bird. A small or medium sized song bird typically having a brown, black, spotted breast and loud song. What is the problem here? Yes, you are right. This is because of uh, uh, radiations in the air which are, uh, give, uh, which are emitted from uh, cell phones, towers. That is the problem. Okay. Coming to the next stanza. Deep in ocean south, deep in ocean south, the whale swims. Her song of birthing fills the seas thousands of creatures wait the moment the solemn birth that they will see this child could sing the final whale song the last to make the oceans shake a grandchild never hears it it's a misery it's a mystery or will the dreamer wake here in the north in the south direction in the south side of the globe the ocean, in the ocean the whale is giving birth to its young ones birthing means birthing means what is the meaning of birthing the process of giving birth the whale is giving birth to its young ones creatures means living being solemn solemn means sincere or serious mystery means puzzle or enigma that is here the whale is giving birth in the ocean and the sea is a uh, sea or the ocean is filled with the sounds of the whale maybe this whale is the last one because the whale is also going to be extinct that is what is the environmental problem here yes you are right that is water pollution especially the ocean and sea pollution because of heavy ships and cargo oil spills in water because of this oil uh, the biological oxygen level declines 
uh, biologic uh, that is the the oxygen in the water bodies declines bod declines so that the animals are not able to live for a long time because their their gills a moppal anniklokki kuda oil velipoyi sariga breathing theeskovalakapovatam mulanga they will die that is about the problem in um, oceans here you can see a whale diagram let us move to the next last stanza here in the center four directions gather here in the center four directions gather the path ahead leads up or down is this our last bright new world birthday is this our waving are we drown this could be our last true moment knowing the truth our choices make our grandchild asks that was the moment and did the dreamer wake here the poet is uh, asking some questions to the human beings that is the mankind on the earth and she is appealing she is appealing that is please wake up my dear human beings are mankind be uh, let us let us be human uh, humanitarian that is Uh, because the poet has a still hope in hum humanity so let us give up with the expectations of the nature nature yem expect chestundo alanti alaga manam undataniki try cheddam ani cheppesi the poet is appealing asking requesting the mankind path means a way or track drown means to go down into water nilalo munigi galadaga sanipovatanni manam drown antam so in the center all directions gather means the human beings are there they have to take care of this the mother earth then only we can lead our life as well as the remaining animals on the earth safely and happily hope you understood the lesson thank you